welcome to the video and this is regarding the giveaway so i am going to give away one copy of this game the universe sim for this giveaway i will be doing it in other games as well all of the games that i'll play i'll be doing a giveaway for or just a random voucher but somewhere in this video there'll be the instructions and the secret word or the word i'd like you to use all you need to do is get that word into the description on the comments of this video just the word or a comment by yourself with the word is fine and you'll be automatically entered into the prize draw and I'll be giving away one copy of this game. So good luck and enjoy the video. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Universe Sim. So we left off with the medieval buildings being upgraded. Most of them I think have finished now. We're having a look now you can see. Looking very nice as well. They are. It is a very well made game in terms of graphics. So you can see a lot of the buildings there have been upgraded. Also, the courier huts have been built. I don't think we've missed much now. Of course, you have missed a few days, and of which there was a... I think it was a meteor storm planned at the end. It was 30 seconds off at the end of the last episode. That didn't actually happen because the game crashed. And then when I reloaded, it put me back sort of five minutes. Uh, so I let it run, but this time it didn't actually give me that disaster. So I'm expecting a disaster. It might be that, but it... It could be something different. We don't know. It is random, so we'll have to wait and see. As you can see, that is one of the courier hut people. They walk around with a car. Extra speed. I'm not sure what the speed difference is, if I'm honest, but I think it's at least double. Then they can all carry more volume as well. Also, I've added just a little bit of an area over here with some windmills. I don't know why I put them together. I just like to do like a thing. Whether it's a thing or not is a question, but there we go. Strange, I don't know if you noticed, down there in the bottom you can see my storage is 4,500. Uh, we've got a UFO coming in. But uh, I've got 4,659, so I've actually got more things stored than I can store. I don't know if that's meaning it's just showing me what's on the floor and I need to build another warehouse to store it. Or no. now, I did that immediately so it didn't kidnap anybody or damage any buildings. But in fact, I shut it down and it's landed on two nuggets and killed them so we got the chest out of it but I killed two nuggets because the UFO landed on top of them wasn't planned but it's done now so I'll put that in the town centre though it looks like it's on that house which is why I try and pick it up again but it isn't it's just that, that house was built so close it's kind of built into its uh, area just got to wait for this UFO to disappear make sure there's nothing else left behind and there isn't but all the buildings now are looking a lot better and they will go up again. Obviously, every area you get new uh, buildings up to skyscrapers and, and the flashing lights of like Tokyo and stuff. So it looks quite cool later on. Resource-wise, you can probably tell because I've left it running. I'm, I'm happy across the board, really. Uh, cement is a problem because we need cement to build the barracks to make an army. Uh, I did get some free cement, but I need to actually move along there. So if we go into the research table and get to where we are, which is nearly halfway through medieval, we can see the cement factory is actually the next thing to learn. So we'll take that, and we'll take law enforcement to get the police. And then we need to pick between science of peace and science of order. Science of peace gives you rehabilitation centers. And the silent, uh, sorry, science of order gives you prisons. The prisoners have a death row option, and the science of peace has like uh, a release for good behaviour option. Just using some of my uh, creator points there to build up the nuggets again, increase their speed, my etc. I'm trying to get them to be as strong and last as long as possible. Uh, I'm struggling to get over 200, so I did lose a few. It, it seems to spam out, and I think it's because I haven't got enough hospitals, so I am going to be upgrading that soon. Just checking here. I don't. It doesn't give you anything, but it was flashing, so it stops it flashing by unlocking all of the achievements or the mini quests I've done so far. And then we can have a look... Big zoom out there of the world. I think we've take we're about a third now. I would say, uh, uh, give or take, but about a third of the planet. I think we are S definitely more than a quarter. 
looking to put another hut down, uh, courier hut, because the more of them we get, the more stuff we get moved around quickly. People aren't having to carry it, labourers aren't having to carry it. We are struggling permanently with labourers because we need them to re to do the buildings. That's what I say. The nuggets are the uh, blockage at the minute. We haven't got enough nuggets, people, to do the things that we actually want to do and build the buildings that we want to build. So even though I knocked a person's house down to build it, it wouldn't let me build it. So I'm moving it over here. It's still well spread out, uh, but I'll move it over to this. This is more that desert area, but it's just that. The path that goes between the desert and the, the main city, which is the area where I liked watching the Nuggets walk across the cliffs. I just want a bit more resource management there. So I'm realising that this battery that I put in my new little area um, is falling to bits because we don't have a engineer's hut. So that's fixable by just chucking in the hut. Then I noticed in the bottom right hand corner the life, the health of the planet's gone down ever so slightly and it's not worth even bothering with, but I just wanted to see how easy it was to do it. It's saying that we're a thousand trees down, so I've just used the forest station spell to put into massive amounts of trees to try and counteract that. Because you start with 20,000 trees and it's down to the 19,000 mark, so I thought that might help. I don't know if it does it immediately or if it takes time, so I've just done that, two of them, and then we'll see in the future. <laughs> Because the idea is I'm supposed to be green playing this game, right? I've got windmills for that purpose. So we don't want pollution. We don't want deforestation. We don't want extinct animals. Or at least we don't want that yet. Unless it becomes fun later on. So looking at... Yes, the cement factory is now unlocked. So we'll get that thrown in straight away. I think I'll chuck it over at that area where we were just at. So where we're just putting that hut because obviously that gives us another range of it, nice big space there. You can see that nice big rectangle, and I am going to be using that over this next episode or two. Uh, that will likely get filled quickly as well. But there is the cement factory, and I'm being a bit anal about making it parallel with the road. But there we go, it's down. And you can see fire station missing as well. So I chuck. Is that a fire station? I don't remember. I, I am looking at the same screen, but. Yeah, I didn't see it. Oh, yeah, it was a fire station. And then I'm chucking a reservoir just behind it. <clears throat> because although they are connected throughout the world to all the water sources, the nuggets still have to walk to them to get a drink. So it's best to spread them out as best as you can. Got a couple of poisoned people there or rotting people there. So that's just showing that I do need to build more uh, cemeteries to allow more people collecting the dead bodies and therefore less chance of the rotten bodies to cause plague and then law enforcement has now been unlocked as well which means we can indeed build the police stations now again this is one of them things that you need to spread out best you can i don't know the areas i just like to do it well, I just do it so it looks okay to me uh, and see how it goes. The I try and go around. I always like to go around the sort of area or the, the city that I've got and then chuck one in the middle. But you need to obviously have the space to do that. So I put down, I think, four or five in total. If there is a way just to uh, keep putting down the same building over and over again, please do let me know. Because I've played this game a lot now and I don't, I've never been able to find the button that does it. Because if you want to build the same building over and over again, you have to keep, like you just see me doing there, it just seems really bad. But it may be something simple like holding control and shift, though I have done both of them, but it doesn't seem to work. But there are games where you hold a certain button when you click and then it keeps the blueprint so you can carry on. Trying desperately here to fit a police station in around there, but... That mountainous area is very hard to build on. It only seems to allow sort of windmills. And that's not because of what they are. It's just because the the, the the area that the building takes is so small. So you've got a better chance of it fitting in a flatter spot. I think that's the last one I put in. So that's a good, good uh, span of police stations. As soon as they're built and get manned, the criminals will be dealt with. Again here, science of peace or science of, yeah, I've gone blank and it's right there and I can't see it. Order, I believe it is, yep. 
I actually go for sites of order. So I go for, and I'm just reading them uh, to myself, which you can too. I'll leave it in. But yeah, Science of Order is the prison and Science of Peace is the rehabilitation centre and I go for the prison. I have gone for the prison before. I don't think I've actually ever done Science of Peace. Um, but it just sounds a bit more boring. I like to see the prison, but then again, there's probably some game mechanics that are interesting on the Science of Peace. So next time, I'll likely do the opposite across the board. So we'll probably do a very smoke induced electricity thing and then obviously science of peace for bit rehabilitation okay so just going around now trying to get some spare people specifically based on the fact that i've got so many certain resources i don't need and it's just a waste and they're not working anyway so the iron the uh the gas the oil that sort of stuff if i can turn them off it will allow them people to work somewhere else on a second note though, obviously at the beginning of the episode I mentioned about a giveaway. The giveaway word is coming now, so this is the word that you need to put into chat. And that word is cabbage. So all you have to do is make a comment with the word cabbage in it. And you'll be in for the draw for the next episode. Uh, the draw will be a copy of the game. So all you have to do, repeat that is what a comment on this video with the word cabbage in it either just the word cabbage or if you want to write something and put the word cabbage in it it's entirely up to you it was the first thing that came to my head uh, and then anybody that's doing that before the next episode comes out will be in the draw and on the next episode i will draw that randomly and somebody will get a free copy of this game so good luck to all right back to the game and we are clearing them out i've just realized actually you can turn the building off that automatically stops, gets rid of all the people and stops anybody from being employed there automatically by the ministers. So I'll go around all of them. The It will be the oil wells, the gas mines, the glass production, uh, and yeah, the others. Can't remember, the, just, the, just the normal mines, the metal mines. The only thing I'll leave running is the uh, cement factory when we get there. Just because we've got too many resources of everything or enough of the resources of everything and I'm struggling for people. So let's get the people doing the jobs that we actually need them to do. Another vote for a leader. And we're looking at what? Uh, reproduction rate plus 25%. Without question. We need we need nuggets. Nuggets, nuggets, nuggets. Lots of them, lots and lots and lots of them. Because uh, a lot of the buildings need like quite a a lot of them like the all of the sort of mines and the the gas mine the factories they all need sort of six right and as we go on they'll also need educated as well so it's important to make sure that we oh, we've got wolves incoming again not too worrying uh, wolves we've got a lot of guard towers up now and hunters which i believe do uh, protect as well if they are within the range of them science of order is complete that means we can now build our prison uh, i am holding back on the research on purpose i'm not sure i'm pretty sure i've said this in future episodes or uh, episodes previously to this one where i don't want to just let it do it automatically and i don't want to just keep going because it just gets ahead i like to try and keep the game around where i'm researching because as you're seeing i'm already struggling so i could research into space age uh, I'm not sure how quick we'd get there, but we'd certainly be nearly there by now if I'd led it. But it'd be pointless because we don't have the people and the resource productivity and efficiency and economy to, to manage all of that. We do have a volcano again coming up, but as we've seen previously now, I think it will be our third one. Uh, you can see the wolves got annihilated there. We did lose a couple of people, but the wolves didn't last very long at all. But yeah, the 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 oh, there's one box left, but I don't want that one shot, headshot. Anyway, um, so yeah, the the volcano doesn't worry me at all, really. Um, but it is a good idea just to keep an eye on it at the top, and make sure that you monitor where the very small but deadly uh, magma balls land. Just look in here; they want some support, i.e., they want us to send them food. I'm saying no. We have lots of food, we have lots of everything, but they never benefit me. All the resources they can give me in trade don't benefit me. So 
I'm always inclined to decline everything that they offer and just be the only person on this planet, right? It's my planet, and then the moon will be mine when we get there too. I hope. Another example here of skipping the winter. When I've got enough creator points, I like to do that simply because it allows me to keep up with the water. I don't run out. It keeps up with the food. And that's likely why I'm doing so well for food. Uh, specifically food anyway. And the, and the water. Because we don't have the freezers to make us lose water. We don't have the freezers to make us lose crops. So we will celebrate that and have a nice little bonfire night going thing there. You know the moon in the background. I'll leave that for you to see. It is done every time we have a new leader appointed. One thing I have noticed, though, is for leaders, by the way, check the age of the person that you're voting for as well. Because if the leader dies, you don't get an instant replacement for the leader. You have to wait a certain amount of time. And I think it's about 30 minutes real time. Um, so if you pick somebody and then they die or you kill them, yeah, that's going to be awkward for you. I'm looking at the barracks. You can see you can only put 10 people in each barracks. So I am going to now we've got the cement factory on its way being built. I'll put down the second one. That will allow us to have 20 in our army. Uh, the maximum you can have is 40. And of course, you can go up to grenaders, tankers, and then helicopters at the very end. But I don't know if I've ever got that far. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've got to tanks anyway. But yeah, the cement factory is finished. It needs up to six educated people, so I'll chuck in three there. That should get us to a decent amount. Yeah, it's working. So they'll start that, and the uh, cement will go directly into the second barracks to give us an army of 20. 20 should be a nice amount to protect us from most of the attacks and raids so far. Just looking at the aesthetics of the building. It's not the best, but... It, it's all right, I suppose. I've noticed that a lot of people are wearing some really funny clothes as well. Uh, some really funny headdresses and really strange outfits. I'm not sure why that started or when, but it might have been when we went into medieval. Okay, so I did finish the prison, and while we're over in this giant area, and then uh, things are there, i.e. the fire station and the builder's hut, or the repair engineer's hut, we'll get the prison down. So I'll put the prison down here. And then behind it, I'll likely use some farms, depending on what I research. Uh, I do know that it will likely be uh, cattle farms. Uh, I haven't done that to my knowledge yet, so that will be really fun to do for me. Chuck it down a park, because again, all of these things, especially the prison, uh, is negative to the people's mood and happiness. So every time I put down buildings like that, I always like to remember to put down a recreation building to counteract it. But as we stand, you can see there, there is a law enforcement building there. You can see that there is one dangerous criminal in our, on our planet. Uh, don't know who they are, but there is. And the prison can hold up to four people. Sorry, not the prison, the police station can hold up to four people before they then go to the prison once that is finished. Just seeing here, the first person has been arrested, so we'll have a look at that. And there we go. Unlucky for you. But on that note, I'm going to end the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Any comments are welcome. Specifically the one for the giveaway. Um, yep, subscribe for more. Take care. Goodbye.